Right, so we're going to take a, an introductory look. Yeah, just were. look on Windows 2008. So what I'm going to do just to start off with, um, he says, is just fire up. And you can see I'm running on a Mac now in VMware Fusion. Uh, and what I thought I'd do on this is uh, follow along the, the sort of Microsoft recommended track for updating your skills to 2008. Right. So um, if you've got an MCSE 2003, all you would need to do is take one exam to get an MCSE 2008. And so what I'm going to do is follow along those syllabuses. Well, that's not bad for five years. It's not bad, but that's <laughs> the, the, the one exam is actually three individual exams all in one. Ah, OK. It's so there's, there's a bit more to it than first meets the eye. So, um, again, the, you can look at the Microsoft um, website. You can look at the handy URL. Not if you're looking at the streaming, you won't be able to read that. No, you won't see that. Um, but, uh, yeah, just follow that link. And what I'm going to do is just take you through an introduction to 2008. What's the big deal? Now, about? Windows 2008 and what we have a look at this podcast... <laughs> It is a big change, you know, they have made some big changes and my initial impressions on it is good. I, mean, I think it's really good and I'm surprised by that, especially seeing that it's meant to be the same kernel as, as Vista. Okay. We seem to have a nice streamlined operating system that's quick to install mm -hmm. and um, harder to configure. But okay. um, you know. sure. So, so what we're going to have a look at now is um, Windows 2008, the concept of your 2008 servers. Mm. In 2003, you installed a server, and if you want it to run um, IIS, for argument's sake, you just add that component in. You know, and now under 2008, when you install a machine, you get a blank machine, pretty much a blank machine. All you get is a desktop to it. Yeah. And what you need to do is you need to define its role. So you have to say, well, this is going to be a domain controller. And then what it will do is it will add the files required to make that machine a domain controller on the machine. Okay, so it starts as nothing. It starts as nothing. Yeah, and you're literally that, adding the start. files. Okay. I, I think it's really good. You're adding in the files, and then you've still got a DC promo, the thing. And we'll have a look at this next week. Are these pay-per-use facilities? So you're basically going to buy an operating system that does nothing, and then you have to buy the features. Well, I, that's one thing that does scare me. <laughs> Maybe you're going to be priced per rolls, because the Vista 8 editions, that's another thing that's confusing people. And I hope they don't go the same way with 2008. Yeah, because 8 not enough. <laughs> is it A? Is it really? I thought it was four. No, you've got uh, you've got home, home basic, your business, ultimate, ultimate, and I think you've got business. Ultimately elements, a business. <laughs> <laughs> ultimately abysmal. Uh, so anyway, enough this for bashing. Uh, Two thousand and eight. So you, it, it's nice. They thought about it. Okay. Uh, so you install a blank. You install a server, and then you add roles to it, and then you can configure those roles. Okay. And what's more than that, what you can do is say. You know, I've got a domain controller. Let's say we put a domain controller in Ashford. Yeah. A lot of the time, you're a domain controller, no one actually logs onto it. Oh, no, I so, will, wouldn't even know what it is. So why does it want a GUI on it? Why does it want Internet Explorer on it? You know, why does it need these things, which ultimately can make the machine less safe? And, and, slow, my less lo and slow my logging down on mobility. I exactly, yeah. <laughs> so um, what, you can, what you've got now is the idea of a Windows 2008 core server. Okay. And a core server is literally just the core operating system. No GUI, no start menu, nothing. And what will it do for you as a core? Or is that the core is what's deployed as, as basic? Yeah, well, what you do is you deploy a core system and you still got to add roles to it. Yeah. And then that's it. You've got your nice little machine which sits there. It's not exactly like a Linux box or a Unix box. It's, uh, no, no. But, but the idea is it hasn't got a GUI because no, one, no, no. one needs to log onto it. So think of attack surface. Okay. There's not much on it, so the attack surface is... It is Lowered. Okay. Uh, the other thing you have is 2008 features. So, um, an example of a feature is the administration tools, uh -huh. uh, group policy management. Yeah. So it's very easy now. No add remove program. Well, you can go and add remove programs, but you first define the role of the server, then you add features to that role. Okay. Okay. So that's really nice. 